My initial idea for the art project was to create and draw images in the neoplastic style made famous by Mondrian and others. I actually found a paper that did a version of this. This looked promising. One problem. There were lots of formulas, but no code. I probably could have written some code eventually, but not in the time frame for the project. So then I came across the idea of super pixels, condensing a picture down into a fixed number of blobs that define the essence of the image. For a high number of blobs, this actually looks pretty good. For a low value, it looks more abstract, just what I was looking for. I found a Python library that included this functionality and some sample code. One problem, plotters don't plot blobs. After much messing around with converting bitmaps to vectors within the drawing program Inkscape, I ended up using a library to write out my own SVG vector files. Additionally, I converted the blogs into bounding rectangles, which are a lot easier to specify. One problem. This gave me shapes, but no shades. To handle this, I used a feature within Inkscape to select hatch and crosshatch resolution of an object. It would be tedious to select different resolutions for each rectangle within a file. Instead, I wrote out each grayscale level as a separate file, selected a crosshatch resolution for all rectangles, then drew the layer. If my set of grayscale values is manageable, I can draw a complete picture from a few layers. Setting the different crosshatch values for different grayscale levels is completely manual. Here's a time lapse of the drawing process so you can see how it works. Enjoy!